While a variety of instructional methods designed to teach creativity have been proven successful, the most appealing in recent years has been within the movement toward teaching 21st century skills, which manifest as part of a project-based learning environment. You can't teach 21st century skills out of a book. You've got to get kids involved in a self-selected project that they can become motivated and enthusiastic about. About You've got to give them the kinds of tools that make them investigative thinkers rather than just simply accumulating and storing knowledge so they can spit it back on the test. In a survey of film students who participated in a project-based learning environment to produce content for a student film festival in the state of Connecticut, 68% listed creativity or problem solving as the number one skill developed as part of this process. While project-based learning has many different variations, which include problem-based learning, design-based learning, and more recently, challenged-based learning. They all share the goal of challenging students to explore a real-world problem as part of a student-centered environment that remains absent of any predetermined outcome. So generally, they are real-world problems. You want to try to find something that has a, a applicability in the world so it has relevance to the student. Uh, yellow, I mean, uh, the white, is for explore questions. The, blue, the light blue is for constellation questions. One appeal to project-based learning is the need for students to problem solve and think independently in order to generate their own ideas as part of a meaningful process of creative problem finding. I'm often baffled when I hear about teachers that send their students home at night and say, come up with five ideas for your project tomorrow. And what a disservice we're doing to students by not letting them experience problem finding, looking at resources, evaluating options, thinking about the choices that will make them successful. When implemented correctly, not only do students have an opportunity to generate and explore new ideas, but during the implementation process, they also can self-select the areas that most appeal to their own creative skills and interests. And this has a long-lasting impact on a student's creative path in life. The longitudinal studies that we've done of kids over decades have shown when children get involved in highly creative, productive, project-based learning work, they're more likely to seek out that work in the future. They're more likely to do projects at home, to seek work that is more creative. Um, so you know they have like pumpkins in the pumpkin. You could do that. Like, what, what are you going to do for them? I don't know. Another appeal to project-based learning is the existence of a student-centered environment, where the teacher merely acts as the facilitator of the learning process, a role very different from the teacher-centered approach that has manifested in a world of accountability and assessment. You can't do good project-based learning in a step-by-step -step method. These are ill-defined problems, problems that hopefully the teacher has no idea what the solution is. And the direction that the students take the work is critical to that process. So if, if you don't know the recipe to solving a problem, that's a great thing. 